So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and in this video I am going to talk about basically how you have to do the skill boost submission basically your profile submission in the Genie Academy 2.0 so before you start if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and just subscribe the channel apart from this one more important thing I want to share that basically the how to start as a beginner for the arcade cohort 2 or basically this cohort or a fresh cohort I have already shared a video you can just watch it let me show you how you have to see it and regarding the registrations of the Genie Academy 2.0 how you have to complete it I will show you so here you will click on the courses option okay you can see the courses option it's clearly visible to you and here basically you can see two courses are available basically one is for the arcade program and the second one is for the Genie Academy and in this video basically we are talking about the Genie Academy so you have to just see it basically first thing is that if you are completely new and want to participate you can see I can't believe you have to watch the video to just know how to register yourself and participate and then you have to come to the second video the ultimate guide basically it contains all the solutions all the labs all the courses how you have to complete complete resource guide for completing it you can just follow it and complete the batches now the next thing is that we have to come to the Genie Academy dashboard and there we have to just log in before that you must have received one email which I am going to show you basically that email contains all the details basically it contains all the details like how you have to register how you have to get the credits for credits I will make a separate video because I think this video will become longer if I see and if it's short then I will directly explain over here so this is your resource guide now let me come to the mail you can see this email you must have received in case you haven't received it you need to wait basically this email was sent for the people who have completed basically registered earlier by watching the first video and if you are just registering just now it may take some time so here you can see this is our learning track security networking devops ai ml so based on it there are free courses basically this program is free of course you don't have to pay a single rupee to anyone okay if it anyone asks do report to me i will just take action now here let's come over here once you are signed in you'll see this like dashboard okay like this dashboard will be shown over here so now here wow how we have to just sign in and just submit your profile here the first thing is that if you want to just just check how to get the credits you can just get started do not worry i'll tell you step by step guide now at the bottom you have to just click on it and just sign in with the same email which you have used for registration or in which you have got this email okay so you have to use that email only do not use any other email otherwise your progress won't be tracked so once you are signed in it will ask just to sign in you can use the google big cv google or any authentication which you have used while signing up now here first thing we have to submit is the skills boost profile earlier known as quick lab, sorry quick labs public profile okay so here the email which you use for registration you have to mention and the profile now for that you have to come to the skills.google dot only skills google you have to type and you have to just sign in with your cloud skills post account after that by default i i will show you by default this page won't be open the dashboard page will be open if i see here let me show you a demo okay so by default when you will sign in to the skills google page the normal page will be the landing page which will be getting basically which you will be getting is this then you have to click on your profile and go to the settings and then there you can see this make profile public public visibility by default if you are participating for the first time and created a fresh account in that case it will be disabled by default in that case you have to click on the checkbox i am showing you one more important thing many of the people were asking about the badges which i will tell you do not worry so you have to just click on it make sure the checkbox is selected and then update the settings now you have to copy this profile okay you have to copy this profile and then you have to share it so let me come over here uh, where is the page yes here it is so let me copy it from here right click copy link address and just paste it okay you have to paste in the skills boost profile submission first you have to submit your profile now enter the email address 
the email address should be same which you have used for creation of the skills boost account also the basically what we call a in the basically during the registration and this email you can just see the settings you have to just navigate the settings option and paste the email like this and then click on submit after that you'll get a submission email one more query many people were asking that i have already earned the badges so can we complete more so the answer is no a fresh account is needed now here you can see the email is already sent when you here you will submit something you'll get this kind of email okay so just make sure to check this out now after that after the skills boost submission we can start our course submission now here one more important thing which you need to understand that basically many of you are asking that we have already completed the badges in the arcade challenge can we just submit the same badges so the answer is no you can see here they are having different start date so if you have started from now only and the starting date basically of the skill badge is from 5th of november 2025 you can see here then you can submit the same skills boost profile there is no issue and badges but if your completion is in october or during the facilitator program or if it's earlier that in 2025 if it before 5th 11 2025 then you have to create a fresh account and just start from zero so this is the main query many people were asking can we use old account again and again so i have addressed your query that you need to just create the new account if you are just starting and have already completed now here you can see multiple courses are here so whatever badges you complete okay whatever badges you complete you have to select it and let me show you you have to click on it and here you have to just see the badges so how you have to share the badges i will show you a quick demo unfortunately i have not completed the same badges but the process process remains the same so you have to just select the badge and then you have to select the same badge url i'll show you how you have to do it but in your case you have to select the same badge and same url the process remains same so here as you can see i have not earned any of the badges from this course okay so here i am taking a rough example which badge i should select uh, let me think okay so here uh, there is no upcoming badges and ongoing only so i am selecting a demo badge basically this cloud run function three ways will be better i think so so let me select it or let me see if there is any badge on my profile basically it was just for creating lab tutorial so i don't think here any badges are here so just i will give it raw demo okay raw demo i will give you so here just i am selecting anything okay any badge i am selecting okay you have to select the same i am repeating again and again you have to select the same badge which you are mentioning and same url like this so basically once you have selected the badge now here the next option is asking you have to enter the same email address which you have used while registering in the event so just enter the same email i have shown you how you have to find the email go to the settings and then here you can see on the top email is there and here is the public profile okay in the same page on the top the email is there you have to just check it out and just just submit it so i know this video is a little bit longer but i am trying to make you understand each and every step as i am not having the same skill badge so it will become a little bit difficult for you to understand but don't worry i'll make the things easier so here is the profile and all the badges are live so now here you have to select any badge from here okay any badge from here you can select it so if you have submitted it like this you can select let me select the cloud run function three ways so i'm just selecting it and as i said earlier the email should be same which you have used while registration and basically which is linked to your cloud skills account okay now here carefully enter the email i am just writing a demo email over here so that there is not any big issue okay due to privacy reason i am writing a demo email but if you want you can write the main email also okay there is not a big issue you can just do it as it is so here if i come over here and just let me just type it okay so here we have to just click on any batch how you'll find the batch url i'm showing you you have to click on any batch now here this url you can see on the search bar so here this url is your unique public profile badge link okay so here it's asking for skill badge 
public link not skills boost profile link okay so for any badge basically whichever badge you are selecting for example it's cloud run function three ways you have to come to your profile click on the cloud run function three ways badge and then just you have to select it enter the email and similarly you have to submit it similarly if you're completing any other badge like for example this automate and capture ai in that case also you have to just enter the email over here and just select it now many of you are asking that if you have completed more than one badges okay if you have completed five badges then in such case what you need to do so like this only you have to just select it and in case you want to add another badges like you have completed five to six skill badges and then you can click on this plus and similarly you have to follow the same step you have to select the courses from here and here you can just enter the same email address which you have used basically the email address will not change okay so the email address would not change you have to come over here and just paste the badge url and then simply you have to just submit it so this is the quick thing which i wanted to share basically you can see here like this we have to submit now here we'll be having master class also basically in the tutorials so you can wait for it many of you are asking that can we complete now with the tutorials available on the channel so yes you can check it out here they have added a hands-on lab separate section but i have already created a master sheet if i show you if i come to this video okay you have to come to this video basically and just come to the description page many of you are not getting what is description batch sorry page you have to come over here here you can see this okay this is the syllabus for jni you have to click over here and here you can see the syllabus is live now here all the badges are here and just next to it is a solution okay some of them are pre-assessment skill badges what does it mean basically when you complete the challenge lab you get the badge similarly you can see all the solutions are available over here you have to just follow it and in case you are facing any issue you can contact us on twitter instagram telegram group or basically just comment down on the video itself because we are there always for you okay so this is the basic thing which i wanted to share and here you can see all the channels are already live basically if you are facing issue you can let me know in the comment section now here you can see that if i show you okay so what i wanted to show that this is the email in case you are facing issue regarding claiming credits you can contact the cloud innovators email and for basically course or anything like gen ai academy related basically platform related support you can contact the academy support email so this is the basic tutorial and complete guide how you have to submit the skills post profile i hope you are not feeling basically i hope you are feeling well and you are able to complete the challenges also many of you are commenting that we have completed the challenges and submitted also so that's very good so this is how you have to complete the challenge and if you are new to this channel do subscribe the channel like the video another events are also live like for example salesforce is there arcade is there okay you can see if you want microsoft certification free of course you can watch this video and if you want just the salesforce kit you can watch this and similarly for the arcade program also so like this you have to just check it out and that's all about this video guys thanks you have a great day